Oh, got it. She done so well. She done good. I'm gonna slowly pry this egg sack open as gently as you possibly can. And check out those little legs. They don't yet look like tarantulas. One of the most rewarding parts of the hobby is when you get to pull an egg sack. And today, I'm gonna pull this egg sack from a Carabina Versicolor, which is one of my favorite species. So, you're gonna need a pair of tongs, your spider with the egg sack, and a homemade incubator, which I will show you how to make. So, the egg sack was laid December 28th. Today is December 21st. So it's under 30 days. I usually don't let it get to 30 days. And we're gonna pull it right now. This is the first Versicolor egg sack of the year and it's a nice size female. So, I sincerely hope that it's a good egg sack. So what we're gonna do is, gently as possible, try to steal this egg sack from the female because if we leave the egg sack with the, with the female, she is not gonna be very nice to the babies. So slowly, I'm gonna rip open this, this silk. Her web. So she actually abandoned her egg sack and she's trying to climb out. Oh no, she's going back. She's going back for the egg sack. She knows there's some thieves. Now let's see if we could coax her out. Come on, little mama. Oh, got it. Wow. Got some nice weight to it. I think we're gonna have about 62 babies inside. All healthy, all well. All right, let's check on the mama. Let's check on the mama right now. Give her some love and maybe give her a nice big fat dubia roach. She done so well. She done good. Aww. This is my dubia colony. There's hardly any in here now. How's this one? Let's see if she'll eat. Come on, mama. You haven't eaten in like over a month. You're not hungry? Nope, she doesn't want to eat. I think it's time to leave her alone. She's been through a lot for today. I'm sorry, but I have to take your babies. I don't want you eating them. So we're gonna take the babies and try to care for them and give them the best life possible. I'll set you aside and we're gonna investigate this egg sac. I'm gonna slowly pry this egg sac open we're gonna see how the babies are doing inside. So typically, they're gonna be eggs with legs. And yep, that's exactly what they are. They are eggs with a bunch of little spider legs. So we're gonna work on our homemade incubator. So the first thing we're gonna do is get one of these square containers or something close to it. it doesn't have to be exactly this. And then we're gonna line it with paper towels. And now we're gonna dump every single one of these onto the paper towel. As gently as you possibly can. And we could already tell there's some bad eggs in here. Now we're gonna slowly take them out. Oh, this guy's hanging for dear life. So I'm gonna start picking out all the bad eggs. nothing else in the in the egg sack this is pretty cool it's so fluffy i should start saving these like a trophy hooray so not too many bad eggs these are these guys dried up and we are gonna dump them because there's absolutely no use for these eggs dump and the next step of the process is we're gonna get one of these i think these are like 128 ounce uh, containers that you could buy from superior shipping or pretty much everywhere we're gonna fill it halfway with sphagnum moss and i'm gonna spray this now this is to raise the humidity i'm gonna put this container in here so I put this blue tape over here to cover all the little holes so there's no gnats going inside and there's no humidity escaping. And I'm just gonna gently place this container inside and then I'm gonna put a lid on top. I'm gonna put the lid on top and 
and set this guy aside for like 25 days. So in a few days, the eggs with legs are gonna turn into first and star. And they're not gonna look like regular tarantulas that you purchase as a baby. When you purchase babies from a website, usually they come at second and star. That's when they first have hairs on the body. So at first instar, after these guys molt one more time, they're still gonna look very pale. And from first instar to second instar, it's gonna take about another 20 to 25 days. I'm gonna put these guys somewhere a little bit warmer inside the room. They need a lot of heat. So I'm gonna put them up here. And we're gonna set them aside for about 20 to 25 days. But I'm gonna check on them daily. I wanna make sure all the eggs survive. And if there's an egg that's not gonna make it, I'm gonna pick it out and I'm gonna throw it away. So it's been about five days since we pulled the egg sac from the bursty color mother and now it's time to check on them. Actually, I've been checking on them daily. Everything looks perfect. Everything looks wonderful. But I wanna show you guys the process. So five days into it and the babies are first in star hooray they've molted from eggs with legs into first in star and check out those little legs they don't yet look like tarantulas they still look like eggs with a whole bunch of legs but they are indeed first in star so in about i don't know 15 maybe 20 days or maybe even before that they're gonna start darkening up and then after they darken up they're gonna molt into second and start they're actually gonna start looking like actual tarantulas so after these adorable little babies turn into second and star and start looking like actual tarantulas i'm still gonna keep them in here for a few more days and the reason for that is so their bodies harden up before we could separate them individually so i'm gonna use a tool like this with a little scooper and and we're gonna individually take out each single baby one by one. I'm not gonna do it right now because they're not ready. So use a scooper and you coax each baby out and into a little salsa container and put the tarantulas in here and the tarantulas, the little babies are gonna live in here for a few months. So I'm gonna put these guys back into their original spot, which is up here. There's a couple of other tarantulas with egg sacs. So that's the, that's the section with all the beautiful egg sacs urban tarantulas. Hooray! One thing I forgot to mention is if your room is not warm enough above 80 degrees Fahrenheit, I would recommend putting the XX on top of a heat mat, but of course not completely and fully. So once a day or once every two days, you want to come here and you're going to see a lot of condensation. So what you're going to want to do is just take off the lid and then just tap the lid, get rid of all that condensation check on the egg sac, check on the babies, and put the lid back on. So I wanna show you guys what a baby versicolor is gonna look like. So I don't have any at second instar, but I do have some babies that are around an inch to an inch and a half. So this tarantula is about three, four months old, and they're absolutely gorgeous. They look like little blueberries, but we're not gonna eat them just yet. So I'm gonna put this blueberry back into her enclosure where she will live for a few more months. Yeah, she doesn't wanna get back in there. Oh, come on, climb onto my pinky. I'm gonna put your back as gently as I can. I tried. And a few more molts after this guy, this. A bigger blueberry. Hooray! These guys are gonna be super, super jumpy. Woo, did you guys see that jump? Oh my God! She's jumping all over. Woo. She's probably gonna poop on me soon though. They're, these guys are notorious <laughs> for pooping. Jump Sparky. You wanna jump? No? The two things that the Versi Colors are known for are jumping and pooping on people. And, you know, looking majestic and everything. So this tarantula is gonna live inside a 32 ounce container for several months, several more months till it outgrows this 32 ounce container it's gonna graduate into a container like this, where we have a beautiful female just chilling. We're waiting for her to drop an egg sac because she's been paired. She's been paired a few times actually. So this is gonna be the perfect container, the perfect size for an adult female versi color. Thank you for watching the video. If you made it this far, if you feel like it, if you've gotten something out of the video, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, whatever you feel like. Uh, this is Urban Tarantulas, out.